Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, um, I have not noticed this very often, but here and there I do find these people, and I found one today. It's on an Islamic post, um, asking a question, and uh, it was a guy responding to something that a black man had commented on, and what he said was actually really good. Um, it was it was valid, um, but. The person that responded to his comment was obviously a racist and he looked to be Arab and I don't see this very often but I do see it and that is Arabs who were born in Arab countries under an Islamic government and they are born Muslim Arabs and to make racist comments so he responded to the black guy um, this is why black people cannot progress and then made some ooh face okay look I don't see this very often but like I said I have seen it a few times um and here's the thing if you were Arab and you were born in a Muslim country you should definitely know better than this this is absolutely ridiculous so let me say this if you are racist and you claim to be a Muslim, whether you are Arab or non-Arab, it doesn't matter. If you are racist, then you are a transgressor. The Quran states Islam has been approved for the religion of all of mankind. I've said this before, all of mankind. Who is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent to all of mankind? It didn't say he was sent to the Arabs. He was an Arab, and I love Arabs. I love a lot of the Arab traditions. I love the language. It is the most beautiful language ever. But the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said in authentic hadith, Sahih al-Bakari, that an Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor a non-Arab over an Arab, nor a black over a white, nor a white over a black. You need to read that. Also in Quran, chapter 22, verse 32, Allah speaks that he has only made us different so we can get to know each other. To That shows us who the most pious of people are. Because we were all descended from Adam, alayhi salam. So if you are a Muslim and you're practicing Islam and you think that you are superior in your race because you are Arab, or because you are whatever race you are. Um, in America, we have this thing, this group, this cult called the Nation of Islam, led uh, and started by, uh, I'm not sure, uh, Muhammad Fard Wallace, and then Elijah Muhammad, and um, Malcolm X was part of that group um, who believed that the blacks were superior. And Malcolm X went to Mecca for his pilgrimage. He came back. And he said, no, you guys are wrong. <laughs> there is no superior race. Learn Islam. Islam is not about a race. Yes, it was brought by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu who was an Arab. There is nothing wrong with being Arab. But it was made plain and clear that not one race, because all races were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not one race is superior to another. And Islam is for all of mankind and only the most intellectual and soft-hearted people will understand that all else will try to turn things against race you want your race to be superior okay you're not going to receive blessings that way because that's not how it works let me tell you a story about this for all the people who are racist muslims against blacks in islam Bilal. May Allah be pleased with him. <laughs> this is a beautiful story, and he is a very important companion. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu loved Bilal. So did Abu Bakr. So did the rest of the Sahaba. Bilal was a slave, but he chose to follow the message of one God, La ilaha illallah, and he was being put to death literally by his masters until the companions on behalf of Abu Bakr showed up to buy him 
for his freedom, not because they wanted him as property. They did not consider him as something to put a price on. He was a brother. So he said, I will pay this amount. He said, I will. Okay, you can have him. And then the guy said, you know, I would have taken this little amount for him. And he said, Abu Bakr would have paid this amount. <laughs> Way more what you think he's worth. Because it is not a price. He is not considered to be an object or a piece of property that you can put a price on. He was a brother. Now, Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him. When they built the masjid of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in Medina, who was the person who did the first call to prayer? Blau. When the Sahaba conquered Mecca and they destroyed the idols in the Kaaba, who climbed the Kaaba and stood up there to give the call to prayer, to call people towards Tawheed, to call people towards Islam? Hmm. Blau. He was not looked at as a inferior person. He was not looked at as property. He was a brother, a human being. Al Nas, the mankind. And the Quran teaches this. The Hadith teaches this. The Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu teaches this. People, you are all humans. We are all humans together. No one is superior to anyone. It doesn't matter what race you are, where you're from. <laughs> End of story on that. Islam is the one religion that completely and clearly eliminates all racism. So if you are a Muslim and you are racist and you have racist things to say, read the Quran, read the Sunnah, read the Hadith, study the religion. Or... Get out of it. If you're not going to learn it and you're going to keep hating your heart, it's not going to do you any good to put the title on yourself that you're a Muslim. You are not a Muslim. You are kafir. Whether you're Arab and you dress like all the other Muslims dress, it doesn't matter. You read Quran, you speak Arabic, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You're kafir. If you're racist, you're kafir. Uneducated or kafir, but either way, no racism in Islam, period. You need to let that go. Get yourself educated. I gave you a verse from the Quran. I show you, I told you the hadiths. Sahih al-Bukhari, read it. Just read the book. It won't take you that long. Stop being racist. You're not going to get your reward for that. You're going to be punished for it. It's ridiculous. Especially in this day and time when we have unlimited access to information about anything we need access to. Literally, you can go on Google right now and download and get a copy of the complete series of Hadith, authentic and unauthentic. You can go on Amazon right now and order Sahih al-Bukhari for like 20 US dollars. You can literally get Muslim Pro app and have the Quran for free and read it. In multiple languages. There's no excuse for being an uneducated, ignorant Muslim with racism in your heart, considering the entire religion, the entire Islamic faith that came from the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, began with the fact that no race was superior. End of story. That's all I have to say on that. Racists need to reevaluate yourself, re-educate yourself, and get on the right page. Or just get out of the religion and just tell the world who you really are. You're a racist non-believer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.